Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to go over threshold frequency and work function. So let's get started. Now here we're going to look at two important definitions for the photoelectric effect. So the first one is threshold frequency and we say the threshold frequency F0 is the minimum frequency of a photon required to cause the emission of photoelectrons from a metal surface. So this word threshold suggests that there is a limit and it's a minimum limit that the frequency of the instant photons must have in order to cause electrons to be ejected from the metal. So that means if photons with a frequency smaller than the threshold frequency are incident on the metal surface, then no electrons are ejected from the metal surface, whereas if the instant photons have a frequency greater than the threshold frequency, then photoelectrons will be emitted from the surface. And notice how we give it the symbol F0, which is F0. The next definition is for work function, and we say that the work function of a material is the minimum energy of a photon required to cause the emission of photoelectrons from a metal surface. So again, we've got this idea of a minimum, where we're talking about the minimum energy this time of a photon. And we say that the work function is a property of the metal itself, i.e different metals have different work functions. So let's say we're talking about a specific metal such as zinc and you've got photons of light instant on that metal zinc surface. Then the zinc itself will have a work function and we can say that if the energy of the instant photons is smaller than the work function for the zinc surface, then no photoelectrons will be emitted from the zinc surface. However, if the instant photons of light have an energy greater than the work function of the metal, then that means that photoelectrons will be emitted from the surface of the metal. It then says that since work function is an energy, it can be calculated using Planck's constant h and the threshold frequency f0. So you've You've got this new relationship here which I've put in a box because it's useful to remember but you don't actually see it on the relationship sheet in the exam. However I have said to note the similarity of this equation to E equals HF. So because we're saying work function is an energy we've basically got E equals HF here where F is our threshold frequency F0 here and the energy is the work function. So if you're asked to calculate the work function in a question and you know the threshold frequency F0 then you can simply just multiply the threshold frequency by Planck's constant to find the work function. Or let's say you're given Given the work function in a question and asked to calculate the threshold frequency F0, then you can simply just plug in your numbers here and divide by Planck's constant to get F0 on its own. I'll just finish off by showing you a quick simulation to help you understand threshold frequency. So here our metal surface is cesium and you see we've got an electron in the surface here. And we're going to start off with a frequency of our instant photons being less than the threshold frequency F0. So if I click play here, you'll see that because the instant photon has a frequency less than the threshold frequency, then the electron is not emitted from the metal surface. What happens though if our instant photons have a frequency equal to the threshold frequency? Well if we click play this time, you'll see the instant photon comes in and causes the electron to be just emitted from the metal surface but no more. So it's able to just leave the surface but not travel away with any kinetic energy. And you can probably guess what will happen if our instant photons have a frequency greater than the threshold frequency. So if we click play this time, you'll see the instant photon comes in and the electron is emitted from the metal surface with lots of kinetic energy. So it not only just leaves, but leaves and moves off with a speed and kinetic energy. And we can also use this simulation to think about work function of the cesium metal as well. So for our instant photons that have a frequency smaller than the threshold frequency, that is the same as the instant photons having a smaller energy than the work function of the metal. And so the instant photons having an energy that is smaller than the work function of the metal will cause no photo emission to take place. And if the energy of the instant photons is equal to the work function of the metal, then the electrons will be just emitted and no more from the metal surface. And lastly, if our instant photons have an energy greater than the work function of the metal, then the electrons will be emitted from the metal surface with lots of kinetic energy. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.